Hi there, how are you today? This is Mark. Today, I don't want to talk about how to learn English. I've already covered that on various occasions. You can click here if you want to watch all those lessons. Instead, I would like to talk about on learning and teaching the English language. Well, my name is Mark Pizzuti. I come from Toronto, Canada. I'm a qualified English teacher with 21 years experience of teaching adults. I've worked in various language schools in Rome, taught government officials at Quirinale and Palazzo Chigi, and also taught people in the show business industry here in Italy. In 2015, I became an assistant to an English professor at Unitelma La Sapienza University. To this end, I'd like to list and talk about some points I found interesting to delve into when teaching and learning English. First point, when learning a language, one usually learns it naturally. Let's talk about adults only. I just said learning the language naturally, but what does that mean? It means learning the language at one's own pace. Let's take Maria. She learns the word house in just one lesson but Giovanni maybe learns it after a third lesson. Each of us absorbs teaching differently, so we all learn at our own pace. Therefore, the best classroom for successful language learning is the one with the least number of students. The fewer classmates you have, the better it is for you, and the more time the teacher can dedicate to each individual student. Second point, as I've already mentioned, each student learns a language in a unique way. Some may learn vocabulary quickly, but prove less able in comprehension. Others instead may learn grammar better than their peers. Each of them, however, deserves the greatest attention from their teacher. Thus, the teacher will need to evaluate which method or learning path the student will be best suited to. This is why a language course must always be tailored in relation to the individual student needs and not a low-cost standardized course that won't get you anywhere. Third point, do all teachers know how to teach? Well, we suppose they do. It is sometimes true that a teacher knows what to teach but not exactly how to teach it. A good teacher is key to successful learning. They are the drivers of the learning system, as it were. Now, I don't want to tar my colleagues with the same brush, and obviously, I'm only talking about my own personal experience. However, I do feel that a teacher's role is that of a guide. They must know what their student needs and when they need it in order to indicate the correct course of action to follow. Fourth point. It is extremely important that the student lets the teacher know what their goals are. In this way, the teacher can organize the learning path best suited to their needs. If, for example, a student needs to use English at work, the teacher can tailor lessons to their real needs and focus on teaching business English, thereby avoiding irrelevant arguments. Fifth point. Unfortunately, no one can guarantee your learning speed. As I previously mentioned, everyone has their own pace of learning and you cannot force this. It simply won't work. However, the student's dedication to learning the language counts for much. We all know that if Maria dedicates two hours a day to her studies and Giovanni just one hour a day, it'll definitely be Maria who achieves greater results. The teacher should indicate how much time the student needs to dedicate to studying English outside class. Be this doing homework or simply watching a movie in English or reading a book in English. Learning a language partly depends on the student, but above all relies on the teacher. Don't be misled by offers like 10 euros an hour and you will learn English in a month. They simply don't work. This is just marketing and not a serious language learning course. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel and you can share the lesson if you'd like to. Have a great day. Bye-bye.